Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, a reminder about how we do it. If we want to find the arc length of AB here, um, we need to know the entire circumference, and then we multiply by the part of the circle we're talking about. And the part is the central angle divided by 360. All right, so keep this formula in mind. And now get a piece of paper and a calculator and try these two problems. Take a look at numbers 3 and 4, and we are looking at the length of the arc in the bold font here for a 210 degree central angle and a number 4 for a 315 degree central angle. All right, pause the video, give it a shot. All right, well, good luck to you. Let's look at number 3. The answer is 44.0 centimeters. So, how did we get that? Well, the entire circumference is 2 times pi times the radius of 12. And yes, we're going to multiply it by the central angle of 210 over 360. All right, that's the part of the circle we're talking about. Let's do some simplifying and divide out some common factors. I can divide out a 30 factor for both of these, which will leave me a 7 and a 12. Notice that that 12 can cancel with that 12. And so really what I have is 2 times 3.14 times 7, and that should give me 44.0 round to the nearest tenth. Number 4, I have a 10 kilometer radius. The central angle is 315 degrees. So here's how we do it. The circumference is 2 times pi times the radius of 10. Multiply by the part of the circle we're talking about, which is 315 degrees over 360 degrees. Let's simplify. Now I'm going to take a quick look at 315 and 360. And off the top of my head, I'm not sure what goes into each. I'm going to suspect maybe 15 or something like that. But I see maybe a little quicker way is to divide out uh, 2 and 10. 2 times 10 is 20. So I can factor out 20 from those two numbers together and divide this by 20, which is going to give me 18. And um, let's go ahead and multiply 3.14 times 315 and then divide that answer by 18 and it should work out to be 55.0 kilometers. All right, thanks for watching this video. Share this with others if you think they would get some help from it. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.